Billionaire's entitled wife explores for harassing a stranger in DMs. Not just that, but she has outed and embarrassed herself as a massive hypocrite. But before the climax of today's video, let me break it down for you, my unhinged family. Catherine Drisk Asplund harassing me? This just happened today. I used this account to post an archive photos I don't want to post on my main account. I would have given her my username for free, but her attitude threw me off. And the best part about it, ladies and gentlemen, she's not even rich. She just married into a billionaire family. And because she's getting married to her billionaire fiancé, she feels entitled to bully somebody out of their own name. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about later on in the video, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be talking about the exposed DMs. We're also going to be talking about her massive hypocrisy, which is just <laughs> which is just the cherry on the cake, to be honest with you. Is she one of the I love my little life girlies who also fly private? Yup. <laughs> I'm not surprised. NYC influencer Catherine Asplund accused of harassing Instagram user over username. Speaking of New York, I posted a video yesterday about the TikTok blanket couple who are smashing fronts in the middle of a public park. Now, the question I have for YouTube is, ladies and gentlemen, is how did that video get taken down? But the video prior to that, which is about a girl who loves having sex relations with dogs stay public. I mean, that, 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 that is bizarre. It's gone forever, but the one about the girl touching dogs is still public. Go and check it out now. Actually, no. Check it out after this video. A New York City-based influencer, Catherine Asplund, was accused of harassing an Instagram user over a username. The interaction was posted on social media platform. Reddit's NYC influencer snack forum has gone viral. The alleged screenshot show a woman described as a small-time influencer messaging the person to ask if she can purchase their username. As Asplund is her new married name. I'm Catherine Hasplund and I'm sick of pretending I'm not. That's a good meme. And to be honest with you, these DMs are just, woo! They are just really, really bad, extremely entitled, and she acts like as if she can be the only person with that name. Just because you're marrying a billionaire, sweetheart, does not make you the main character in everyone else's life. Now, I think you guys at home are gonna absolutely love the DMs we're gonna read out, but before that, some sweet, sweet, sweet hypocrisy. Something else that Loki bothers me is when girls get married, and it's not even like 10 minutes after they like do their vows, like, they're like, oop, go on my Instagram, let me change my last name, already I'm probably gonna wait a couple months I don't know I just think it's like a little bit a lot when I see girls change it like before I even knew they were married like chill <laughs> So here she is, ladies and gentlemen, over here talking shit about women who changed their last names on Instagram right after they got married. Not only that, but you were only married for a couple of days before you DM'd this woman on Instagram. You act like women change their names on Instagram so quickly is such a bad thing, yet you literally accuse this woman of breaking the law for having the same last name as you. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we're not exactly off to a great start, are we? And the best part about all this is, is that this was predicted four months ago via a Reddit post. Lost air to quit, question mark. That's her TikTok name, by the way. I need to know more about her. She's so young and has this gorgeous home and doesn't seem like she has a job. The fiancé works, I think. But again, they are only like 25. She does genuinely seem sweet, but I feel like something is off with her and can't put my finger on it. Yeah, she's massively entitled. Now, apparently this girl went to college with her, but I don't know how true that is. I mean, it's just a random person on Reddit. Anybody can say that, but this is what she said. I went to college with her. Sis has not worked a day in her life. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest with you. However, I did see in her TikToks that she mentioned that she does dog walks or something. And you know, the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, I can't imagine myself resonating with this girl. I'm just not entitled. I have grown up very poor. <laughs> Okay, very poor is an over-exaggeration. I mean, I lived in a council house. It's not as if we were homeless or anything like that. We just didn't have a lot of money. This is absolutely hilarious. She truly is a horrendous person. <laughs> no one ever survives here. This you? Someone said, yeah, didn't she say something stupid about Africa once? I can't remember. Yo, let's check that out. I hope this is going to be good. Can you imagine getting married in Africa and you have this many people show up? Because it was like in Africa, you might as well have like sex. I like that she went casual. I feel like in Africa, you know, you just should. Like, how do you plan a wedding in Africa? <laughs> I love how she went casual. I feel like in Africa, you just should. She says Africa like it's a slur. <laughs> But what is wrong with Africa? Why is she saying it like that for? I feel like you should go casual in Africa, you know, because it's a poor country and, well, <laughs> you know. Ugh. You can't dress formally in Africa. Don't you know this country's poor? Oh my God, are you seriously wearing your sparkly dress? Did you not bring your African garments with you? <laughs> An idiot. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's take a look at these DMs. But first, actually, Join the channel memberships. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I have completely revamped the channel memberships. We now have epic Jerry promotional badges, which improve the longer you are subscribed. Not just that, but we've also got custom emojis. We've got the classic unhinged brand. We've also got an emoji of me riding Jerry, but also 
Jerry Riding Me. And what do you guys get in return? Well, we do weekly live streams with me and you, the channel members, where we can just react to stuff, talk about stuff, just chill out a little bit. And that's going to be starting very soon. We just need to get some more channel members because we haven't got many right now. So the link to join the channel memberships will be in the description. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe because we're trying to reach 100k. Thank you very much. F***ing love you guys. And now back to the video. The entitled Catherine Asplund started off by DMing the OG Catherine Asplund. Hi, I was wondering if I could purchase your username from you. Just got married and this is my new name. <laughs> Hi, congrats. That's my name too. I just googled it and it said selling my username would get me banned from Instagram. Is that true? Let's search it up because someone on Instagram also has the name Curtis Price and I am pretty sure I DM'd him before asking to purchase it and uh, well he blocked me so yeah, I'll, I'll never be Curtis Price. I'll never be the OG Curtis Price, and that really depresses me. I'm just a washed up B-Tech Curtis Price. <laughs> so as we can see here, Instagram's terms and conditions strictly forbid users to buy, sell, or transfer any aspect of their account, including their username. So OG Catherine is correct in this instance. However, that's not good enough for entitled Catherine, because she f***ing owns the world, apparently. <laughs> I purchased my user. <laughs> I purchased my username in the past, actually. That's not true. Celebrities do it all the time. That's how they all have their handles as their full names. <laughs> that's actually not true. I just spoke to Drake on the phone and he said that's how he got his name. So weird. I didn't know there was another Asplund. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So weird. I didn't know there was another Asplund's family out there. There's no Catherine Asplund in our family. You didn't know there was another Asplund family out there. Are you for real? I mean, this has got to be fake, right? I mean, she's got to be playing us up here. I mean, <laughs> that's how popular is the name Ass Blund? Census Bureau has a surname which has more than 100 occurrences in the United States. The Asplund surname appeared 103 times in the 2010 census. Wow, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Turns out there is other Asplund families out there. Hang on a second. Are you trying to tell me, you pathetic piece of filth, that there are other people in this world with the name Curtis? That is f***ing disgusting. You're so wrong. You don't realise how wrong you are. I'm the only one. I am the OG. That'll do. I'll put some beast music over that or something. I see that you are not that active on here, but started Instagram in 2018, but changed your username three times. Is there any way I can get you to change your username one more time? <laughs> Yeah, that was my impression of the emojis. Every time you use those emojis now, I want you to think of me. Who on earth does she think she is, ladies and gentlemen, to dig into a stranger's profile? I mean, are you insane? How would you even find out that somebody changed their username? How, how is that possible? That's kind of creepy, actually. It gives me stalker vibes, like major stalker vibes. Speaking of stalking, have you seen that show Baby Reindeer on Netflix? That is fantastic. Obviously not the same level as this, like in terms of stalking, but it's pretty wild. Let me know if you've seen it, guys. Comment down below. This is my Finsta. I use it for private stories. I don't want to get banned. Sorry. Seems reasonable. I wouldn't want to get banned either. But of course, everybody, that was not good enough for the great, almighty Catherine Asplund. The one and only. I actually don't believe that your name is Catherine Asplund. Who would make their Finsta their actual name? I reported you to Instagram and they're actually able to tell me your real name. I really hope I don't know you because that's going to be really embarrassing for you. <laughs> I mean, what do you mean I don't believe it's your real name? Why would this random person just, like, lie up? I mean, people do it all the time, to be fair. <laughs> but still, though, imagine you guys are home. You're just there one day, just chilling, watching a Curtis Price video, and you get a DM. I don't believe your name is Clifford Jefferson. What do you mean your name is Lucy Spiels? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> You're lying. <laughs> you can report me. Just did, actually. <laughs> and my fiancé is... Too. You're asking me to do something to get my account banned. I doubt Instagram would take that lightly. I'm asking you to change your username because you were pretending to be someone you're not, which is illegal. Okay, so we've gone from assumption to a definite fact. Yes, this OG Catherine is pretending. But who is she pretending for? She's minding her own business and you've just come out of nowhere, out of the woodworks, to harass her. Off. That's what I would have done. I would have sent a voice not. Nope. You asked me to purchase my username, which is going against Instagram's rules. I just reported you. The family I just married into is the only Asplund family in the US. Whoa. She did a lot of research, ladies and gentlemen. She went on Facebook. 
I mean, that's practically better than the CIA. But apparently, ladies and gentlemen, there is no other Asplund family in the US. Because we all know, right, that the US is the only country in the world. OG Catherine responded, I'm not American. Imagine if she responded straight after that. Ugh. Where are you from then? Like, Africa? <laughs> God, I bet you're sitting there right now in your Samson wearing your African garments. <laughs> Do you have any proof that this is your name? Would love to see that. Would you love it, Catherine? Would you love to see her birth certificate? Well, guess what, Miss Entitled bitch? You're not getting anything. Why would I have to send you any proof of who I am? This is my account. I've had it since 2018. I'm sorry we share the same name, but just because you got married doesn't mean you can have my username. I mean, she's not wrong. It's facts, you know what I mean? Like, if you were nice, I would have considered giving it to you for free, but you weren't. I reported you for asking me to sell my account and another report for harassing me. Have a good day. I mean, yeah, she feels entitled because she's getting married to a rich billionaire who's from a billionaire family. She feels entitled to literally bully somebody out of their own name. I mean, sorry to piss on your bonfire, love, but we're on planet Earth, not planet Catherine. <laughs> That's such a lame joke. That's so silly. Such a silly sausage I am. I mean, she's definitely not going to respond to this, at least I don't think. And it's quite sad as well that she's only just gotten married and already she's getting destroyed on the internet. Like, the way she approached the situation and harassing this woman in the DMs was not needed. You could have literally just messaged her the way you did at the beginning and she would have said, okay, I'm, you know, I'm not selling my account and then just being like, okay, no problem. Um, is there any way you would just change your username for free then? And like, like, like OG Catherine said, she would have done it for you, but you're so entitled, you just had to try and bully her, didn't you? But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, comment down below what you thought of the video, and you can check my other videos out right here. I mean, this one is pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie, I mean, what a dirty conversation that was. See you all in the next one.